Hi guys, I'm Besa Kurbani and this is BQ Geomatic channel. In this video, I'm going to enter the aerial photo of my desired area from Google Earth into Civil 3D or AutoCAD in a very simple way. First of all, I have to say that our map coordinate system should be a global coordinate system, not a local coordinate system. That we use the Universal Transverse Mercator World Global System 1984 or UTMWGS84. To begin, we need to pick two points within our work site. It is better that these points are not too close. I select the location of the first point here and to mark it, I draw a small circle and uh, name it 1. I also select the location of the second point here. Unlike the previous time, by drawing a small circle, I mark it and name it 2. Now we need to get the coordinates of these two points and find them in Google Earth. To do this, write the ID command and select the center of the circle like that copy the coordinate that appear on the command line and paste it in notepad do the same for the second point run id copy the coordinate and paste in the notepad now open Google Earth and find the desired area. My work site is almost in this area. In the next step, we need to change the Google Earth coordinate system to UTM mode. To do this, go to the Tools and select Options. Then in the 3D View tab, in the Show Latitude Longitude section, make sure that the Universal Transfer Mercator option is selected. And then press OK. Now we have to mark the point we already selected on the map in Google Earth. To do this, from the toolbar above, select Add place mark option if you do not see this toolbar you can enable toolbar from view menu i select add place mark in the window that opens in the name field we can type the name of the marker which i write one in the zone section you will see the zone number of the area we want which if you zoom on the area correctly the zone show will be correct and we do not need to change it. To know the number and letter of each zone, you can turn on the grid option in view menu. With zoom back, you can see the zone specification of each area. For our area, as you can see, the zone number is 39 and the letter is R. Now we write easting and northing of point 1 that we marked on the map and wrote in notepad in place related to easting and northing. Here I copy east and paste in this section. I do the same for north. Copy and paste in northing field. You can also change the color of the label and the marker icon by going to the style color section. I make the marker red to see it more clearly. Repeat the same step for the second point. I name it 2 and copy number 2 east and paste the string field and copy the north and paste the northing field 
in the style color icon color is red and then ok zoom to desired area to get a better result go to the view menu then go to reset and select tilt and compass this corrects the north direction and rotation of the photo now everything is ready to take a picture of our area go to the file menu from save select save image you can write name and description for photo in here then save the photo by clicking the save image button and entering an address to save the photo Returning to the CAD, from the insert menu, select raster image reference. You can also do this by typing the image attach command on the command line. In the window that appears, select the image and press open. I OK the attach image window with these settings. Somewhere near the map, I select the point with the mouse and by dragging the mouse or typing the desired scale number, I enter the desired size of the image. But it does not matter what the size of the image is and where it is located. Now type AL in the command line and press enter to run the align command. Then select the photo and press enter again. Carefully select the tip of the number 1 pin in the photo. Like this. Then select the current point of the center of circle we had for point 1 on the map. There. Do the same with point 2. Then press enter. Then in this step, by typing Y or select yes on the command line, we accept that the scale of the image changes so that the points introduced in the image overlap with the points marked on the map. As you can see, the photo changed its position and size and moved to its correct location. But the image covered our map. To solve this problem, select the photo, right click, go to the display order and select send to back. Now our map is ready to present. I hope this video was useful for you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to support this channel.